Hi, welcome back to the Micromark Workbench. Today I have in front of me our 83507 drum thickness sander. It's used to resize your lumber for any particular modeling projects that you have. Different size lumber in the miniature world comes in different thicknesses, preset, pre-sanded, ready to go. But if it's not what you need, then you need this guy here in order to size down the wood. There is a five inch wide, two inch diameter um, sanding band inside this unit that's belt driven by this motor. It's got a feed table in the front, which you're gonna feed the wood through, and it'll come out the backside as you manually push it in and pull it out. There's no automatic feed with this machine, but you don't really need it, and I'll show you how well it works. So, first pass through the drum thickness sander, I'm just about at 100 thousandths of an inch. I'm going to go down a little bit lower. Um, if you notice in the video, I put the piece of wood through twice. I always do one side and then flip it over and put it back in. Especially on the thinner woods, if you don't flip it back over and you just continually keep sanding off one so surface side, you'll banana the wood and the wood will come out like that. That's why I always go back in twice to get my final sanding dimension. I'm gonna put it in one more time and you'll see the results are gonna reduce probably about four or five thousandths of an inch. So there's a knob on each side of the table that locks the table in place. I'm gonna loosen these a hair. The table now becomes loose. Underneath the unit is a hex nut. Um, having six sides, every partial revolution to another face is about five to six thousandths of an inch. It's raising the table. So you make your adjustments by that face and feeling it as you're turning it. And then you relock the table back down. Now I was at 100 thousandths that I showed you earlier on my piece of wood after two passes with the one sheet, both sides sanded. Now we're gonna see what this does. So as you just saw, I was down to 94 thousandths of an inch. That's with a pass on both sides of my board. Six thousandths of an inch I've removed. And that's the way you can do, do your adjustments on this drum thickness sander. Um, I will say that the as you raise up the table for these smaller and thinner pieces of wood, the table is going to be angled a little bit. So coming out the backside, it's going to be angled downward. You don't draw it straight level all the way across. It's gonna come out on an angle, so you have to continue pulling as an angle until you get the wood out of the machine. Additionally, we have different grits of sanding drums that you can put onto the machine. It's about a 10 minute change out for the different uh, grits. The amount that you can turn that hex nut, the amount of material that you can take off, is probably only about 18 thousandths of an inch at, at one time. Um, more than that, and there's a circuit breaker popper that I'll show you on the side of the machine that I'm on. And this is a fairly hefty machine. If it's too much for the motor, it's gonna have a sensor and it's gonna pop out this breaker and stop your sanding process right then and there. If that happens, you need to press the red button on the top of the unit to turn it back off before you push in the little stick of the circuit breaker back in. Then you'll be able to turn the unit back on with the green button. So you don't want to take too much off at one time. If you take too much off at one time, you're going to stall the unit in the middle of your sanding process. You're going to have to back out your board and start over again. But you need to make sure that with that circuit breaker does pop on you, that you turn the unit off on the top by pressing the red button, pushing that little stick back in for the circuit breaker, and then turning the unit back on and then continue feeding your wood. But again, 18 thousandths of an inch is more than enough at any one time. And before you know it, you'll get down to the thinner size woods that you wanted. It's just going to take a little time because you can't take too much off in a single pass. Thanks for watching the video.